I'm almost there. Can you move yet? A little. The paralysis is wearing off. I even found a... Ow! Clear! Alrighty, a single grenade should do the trick here. And I didn't want to interrupt the dialogue, but the new gun that we just picked up is known as the Coil Rifle. It is actually a fictional rifle, unlike the MP5K and the M4. It is similar to the assault rifle, but better in every way. It has a larger magazine size, faster fire rate, and does more damage. So, we are heading back through the beginning section of the game, but this time with a jetpack. And we are going to go rescue Claire. Just follow the blue line on your map and you'll get there no problem. All of the firefights, you can either just run through them or you can fight them. You shouldn't have any problems with that at this point. Just remember that if you want to use the hyperspeed boost like this, jumping completely cancels the power-up sequence. And just in case you were unaware, hyperboots not only allow you to run on walls and ceilings, they also allow you to run on water. Time your jump right, you'll make it over the cabin, and you'll continue running on the other side. This place should look familiar. Remember the first time we came through here, all we had was an SMG and grenades, so you shouldn't have any problems with this. I shouldn't have left you alone. Alright, time for a new area. When we came through here the first time, we did not have foam. Now we do, so now we can get in here. Now this section of the game can be somewhat tricky to navigate, but I think it'll really help you if you realize that all of these vents in this elevator shaft are completely empty. There is absolutely nothing in them. So don't worry about that, and with that out of the equation, it makes this a little easier to navigate. Anyway, use the elevator and head up to the fourth floor, because that's your way in. You have two options here, you can either call the elevator to this floor, or you can ground pound on this vent, and now you'll find yourself on the third floor. Now once you're inside the elevator, take it down to the second floor, and you're basically in. 
There's also an infinite health case down here, and as much as it looks like it, this is actually not a save room. I just want to point out here that I handled this part really poorly and got really lucky simply because I leveled up and was at full health. A better way to handle this would be to foam this guy, and even though he becomes immune to bullets, once he's foamed, you just ground pound the shit out of him to kill him instantly. And in this room, you can finally find the missiles. It's been a while since we've got a new special ability that requires the D-pad. If you're playing with the full D-pad settings like I recommend, you select the missiles with right on the D-pad. Missiles are basically superior to grenades in every single way simply because they fly directly at the target and explode rather than having to arc them or having a range limit to them. At this point, the only reason to use grenades is to open up grenade-specific items, or if you run out of missiles. Use your missiles to kill everybody. Pretty much all combat encounters from this point on are going to be a non-issue because of the missiles. And then hit the button on the console to raise the shield and then destroy the turbine. With that accomplished, head back inside the elevator and head back down to the second floor. Something that'll hopefully help you navigate this part a lot better is if you realize that the third floor has nothing on it except for your way in and out of the facility. Well, we don't want to exit just yet, so just ignore the third floor for now. Now that the turbine is destroyed, we can actually get through here, so head up and to the left. Well, this is rather embarrassing. There's a missile panel here, and I'm out of missiles, so please excuse me while I go get some more. Okay, let's just pretend that that never happened. Now in this save room you can find an infinite health case and there's also a missile panel on the left wall. Crawl up through that and you'll find yourself in this room. Take cover under the platform, wait for the dark trooper to turn away and then you can jump up and assassinate him. One of the only times in the game that you can do that against a dark trooper. And then on the far left hand side wall you can find a health pack upgrade. So now you'll have 800 health. And my god, you are going to need all that going into the next boss fight. Try to conserve your missiles here better than I did, and don't use them to destroy the turrets and kill the soldier here, because you want to go into the next boss fight with as many missiles as possible which for me would be six, because even though I can carry a maximum of eight, I have to spend two in order to open that missile door. Okay, make sure you have full health and as many missiles as possible, because this boss fight is a bitch. You and your girlfriend talk too much. 
Lose the armor! Now! Uh, no. Alright, I need to pause here in order to say something very important. Number one, do not attempt this boss fight on any difficulty with only six missiles. Number two, do not attempt this boss fight on insane with anything less than infinite missiles. So it should go without saying, do not attempt this boss fight on insane with only six missiles. The only way that I could find to get through this was to glitch it. What I did was I used my missiles to knock one of the exosuits back out through the door and off the screen, and I went far enough to the right that the other exosuit on the left was off screen, and so for some reason the game didn't realize he was there, and so he didn't shoot at me at all, so I could completely ignore him and just focus on one at a time. Now despite my explanation of that, this is not easy to do, and I think it comes down to a little bit of luck. That's why it took me 15 deaths to get through this encounter. With that being said, do I dislike this encounter even more so than the four guys with Gatling guns? No. With enough missiles, this encounter is easily doable. With six missiles, this encounter is a pain in the ass. schematic of the entire base. I bet you can download it and we can find the quickest way out. Okay. Good thinking. That drug's pretty much worn off. You can put me down and... And you can go. We can go. No, just you. Take my cell phone, get somewhere you have a signal. Call for help. What about you? These bastards are planning to invade San Francisco. Now, best case scenario, I stop them cold. Worst case, I delay them and whatever cavalry you call finishes the job. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Now get out of here before I think about it any longer. You happy, Dad? Armor, or computer, whatever. Can you run a full systems check? Make sure this thing is running at full capacity. Unable to comply. Following components are missing. Hookshot. Thrust amplifier. Inertial element. Fusion helmet. All components required for systems to be fully integrated. Alright, I know this video was a little shorter than usual, but that's about going to do it for this section of the game. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to be playing around with our newly acquired missiles, as well as getting a hookshot and a triple jump.